how I live abroad, work from anywhere, and live a seemingly fantastical life. I'm gonna show you how. We should like make a decent logo or something. This one sucks. <laughs> I get asked about this in some fashion or another just about every day, if, if not two or three times a week. Um, how do you live in Southeast Asia? How do you travel around the world and live this vacation-like life? I'm not on constant vacation. How do you do what you do? How do I get from point A to point B? How do I become successful at this digital nomad thing? What is the secret magical formula to success that, that you know that I don't know? Number one, there is no magical secret to success. It requires a lot of hard work, but it requires a lot of conscious work. If you do, you know, that whole work smart, not hard, you, you have to work hard, but you can work smart about it too. It makes it a little less hard. The answer is there is no secret or magical formula to make you successful at whatever it is you want to do. Whether you want to come to Southeast Asia, whether you want to travel around the world, whether you want to run a business, doesn't matter. But there are a lot of basic life skills that, that people struggle with on a regular basis. I mean, really smart people, you don't have, this isn't, it's basic, but it doesn't mean you're dumb. Most people don't ever pay attention to this stuff because it's just basic adulting. Um, and that is uh, systems. Systems in your life are critical if, if you want to get out of your own way, basically, and do anything successful. Again, doesn't matter what you want to do. If, if you want to be successful, you got to get the, the basic stuff out of the way. The foundations of success or or business or, or travel, all these things require you to get out of your own way in many cases. So systems is how you do that. That's one of the ways to do it. I'll go over multiple ways, but I'm gonna talk about systems today. Let's start with McDonald's, for instance. They're, they're a very good example, not of food, but they're a good example of systems. If you go to McDonald's anywhere in the world, they may have different menu items in different countries and things like that, but it doesn't matter whether you go into a McDonald's in Kentucky or Malaysia, the burgers taste the same. The reason they, they do that is because of systems. Nobody at McDonald's, at every branch of McDonald's, is having to figure out how to make a burger. They figured it out at corporate, in the, the magical McDonald's chef place, whatever that's, I'm sure they have a better name for it than that. And they, they said, this is how you prepare a burger. Here are the instructions, follow them, exactly. There are no deviations. You don't get to go, oh, I think it needs a little more salt. It just doesn't happen that way. You, you do what they say. And that's why burgers taste the same, whether you're in Malaysia or Kentucky. Now, that's for businesses, and those, that may seem kind of obvious, but we have a lot of personal systems in our lives, too, that we need to, that if you're actually paying attention, you can, you can make your life a lot easier with seemingly simple things. I'm going to give you some examples today of some systems that I use for my own sanity and success, if you want to call it that. Um, just ways that, I, ways that I do things to get out of my own way so I don't waste my time on really stupid stuff. We all know the worst offenders, the people that are running around every day, three or four times a week, maybe every single time they go anywhere, they can't find their keys, they can't find their wallet, they can't find their driver's license, something. Something's missing. And they have, maybe they're only spending 30 extra seconds a day running around looking for stuff, but still, it's, it's time wasted. It's like, oh crap, now I'm gonna be late or I'm gonna make somebody else late, I'm gonna make people annoyed. These are all things that can be avoided with simple systems, very simple systems. It, these, these don't require any thought on my part anymore. They just, they're automatic now. So these are some of the things that I do with regards to my everyday carry stuff, the things that I carry with me all the time, my wallet, my keys, my phone, my sunglasses, all that stuff is always in one of two spots. Let's just use my keys for example. My keys are either on my nightstand they are in my pocket or they're in use. If I'm actively using a key for something, I will have it out. Otherwise, it's in my pocket or it's on the exact same spot on my nightstand every single time. There's no, I never wonder where my keys are unless somebody takes my keys, which doesn't happen. I have no friends. <laughs> there are no exceptions. I'm rarely late anywhere. I'm, I'm always, if, if, if I need to be somewhere, I know the stuff that I have with me, it's with me all the time. Now I use pockets. Maybe you use a purse, maybe you use a man bag. It's a satchel. Um, perhaps you, you know, it doesn't matter how you carry it, but have a system for doing it. Do it the same way every time. My keys are always in the same pocket of whatever pants I'm wearing, it doesn't matter. They're always on the same place in my nightstand, whether it's my nightstand or whether it's, I'm in a hotel somewhere, they're always right next to the bed. 
I spend all my time doing actual things that I want to be doing, not looking around for my keys or my wallet or my driver's license or whatever. The worst offenders will just put their keys wherever they happen to be convenient. It's, hey, here's a flat surface, I'll just drop my keys here. And then they can't remember where they put their keys because it's always someplace different. It just, wherever, happen, wherever it happens to be convenient for them is where they're going to put their keys. So my keys go in one spot on my nightstand, not any flat surface to free my hands where I'll forget and have to run around searching for them. When I get dressed, they go in my pocket, the same one every time. I don't walk around carrying them. If I need to open the door, I pull them out at the door and I use them. When the door is unlocked, they go back in my pocket before I even close the door. When I get undressed for the day, I empty my pockets on the nightstand. That's it, it's very simple. The same goes for driving. I have a motorcycle, so when I go out to my bike, I don't walk through the parking lot with my keys in my hand and a bunch of bags and a bunch of other crap I'm carrying in my helmet and the poncho and an umbrella and who knows what else. I, my key is in my pocket until I need to put it in a lock. When, the, when I get to my bike, I put everything away, take the key out, stick it in, and I operate the bike. And then when I'm done riding the bike, I take the key out, it goes straight in my pocket before I walk away. This can apply to your wallet when you're paying for stuff, your, your phone, whatever you take with you every single day, have a system for how you handle it so that you never have to deal with this stuff because you use it every day. If, you, if you're the kind of person that loses your keys on a daily basis, you're going to be the kind of person that wastes hours of your life over time, wasting your time, your focus, your energy, your attention to things that you could be being successful at. So if, you're not, if you feel that you're not successful at something, well, this is part of it. It's a foundational thing. This is dumb stuff. It's not important. It's basic adulting. If, if you don't get this out of the way and have systems for little things like this, then you're gonna struggle with big things. Try to cross a border from Thailand to Cambodia or something on a, on a Friday, you're gonna struggle. It's, it's, it's overwhelm. If you don't have a system in place, you're just making your life harder. So this is about making your life easier so that you can set yourself up to be as successful as you want to be. You can focus on the things that actually make you successful instead of wasting your energy on things that are getting in the way of you being successful. Okay, example two is probably not going to apply to most of you, but I get water bottles delivered here in, in Thailand. I get t cases of 24 water bottles. They sit next to my fridge. I put some of them in the fridge because I like drinking cold water, but I also make coffee and I don't need to have refrigerated water for that. I just keep them at room temperature, which is really hot here, by the way. It's Thailand. When I finish a bottle of water, I take the empty, I put it back in the crate. So in my crate, I've got empty bottles and I've got bottles of room temperature water. Every time I walk past my water, I can look at it and see how many bottles of water I have left. Very easy. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to stop and count. I just glance down. I can see there's bottles left. Okay, great. Um, if I threw them in all willy-nilly without any rhyme or reason, I wouldn't be able to tell at quick glance. I'd have to stop and look and check and go, okay, uh, uh, that one's got water in it, that one's got water in it, that one's, those are empty, and, and do a count that way. I mean, that takes three whole extra seconds. Doing it the way I do, I put them all in a line and then I know how many bottles of water I have left. Running out of water in the middle of the night really sucks. Uh, it's extra expense, it's extra effort, it's extra going downstairs in the middle of the night down the street to go buy a bottle of water and spending extra money. is no point to it. You can just just as easily drop a bottle in, in line. Now, I bring this up only because I've seen about a dozen people in, in Asia doing this and they're constantly running out of water and they never know how much they have left because they just throw them in there th thinking that it's not a big deal. It's, it's not a big deal. It's dumb. It's, hmm, let's put them in a line. It's not, it's not about being anal retentive. It's about saving yourself hassle. It's about saving yourself money. I gotta get dressed, go down the street at 2.30 in the morning so I can have something to drink. So having a system for this water means zero effort and saves me a lot of time and attention and I don't run out of water because yay water. These attention drains that most people don't ever pay attention to aren't going to make you rich. They aren't going to make your business successful. They aren't going to get you to travel around the world or move to Thailand or move to anywhere, but they will get in your way. They will slow you down. Whether you, if you don't consciously choose how you're spending your time, attention, focus, and energy, it's just going to happen. However it happens. And then you're not going to have time, attention, focus, and energy to do your thing, whatever that is. Business doesn't matter. These are all taking those things away from focus that you should have on making your life better, however that is that you're trying to make it better. Really basic, if you have any questions about it, leave a comment down below. Let me know what systems you already have in your life. Maybe you have them, you don't even know about them. 
maybe you've never given this any thought, um, but you probably have little rituals or habits that you do all the time just to get through your day. But if you do struggle with things like this, think about what things that you can improve upon or make your life easier, stuff that doesn't matter so you can focus your attention on important stuff. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to get more of these videos because I've got a lot more already queued up, being edited right now, that I'm gonna have available. Waiting for the plane to pass cause I'm in the flight path, woo!